Hello everyone, Lost in Place here from Battlestrats.com and I'm here to give you this skinny on Lost Planet 2. This is the first in my series of Lost Planet 2 for Dummies videos. Today we're going to cover menu navigation and just some of your basic setup. This is designed for beginner users who just got Lost Planet 2 and have no idea what the hell is going on. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, and here we are at the main menu. The first thing we're going to go over is the campaign. So Lost Planet has a four player co-op campaign, so just select the campaign option and here are your options. You can click quick match to jump right into a random campaign match. You can do custom to search for specific settings of campaign matches. Uh, you can select what episode or chapter you want. You can only select as high as you've completed in the game so far. So keep that in mind. Like right here I've only completed up till episode four, so that's as high as I can select. You can pick your difficulty and um, how many um, players and all that fun stuff. Uh, if you're looking to set up your own game, just go to Create Game. And it's the same settings. Friendly Fire, I would keep it on Blowback. It uh, knocks people over but doesn't damage them. Uh, you have private slots for how many people you want to invite. And don't worry about the AI settings because if you uh, invite friends, it'll bump out the AI. Okay, from here you can go and invite your friends, scroll down your list, select the person you want to invite, and send them an invite. Simple as that. Okay, next up is online. Online matches. So as you see, it's titled online. And we're going to go into here, and this is where you play all your multiplayer. So the first option is ranked matches. Ranked matches are where you earn your level ups, it's also where you uh, basically go for your score for the leaderboard, if that matters to you. So a quick match launches you right into a random match. Custom match, you have a couple options. You select between either elimination, team elimination, or post grab. The map size, you don't get to pick the specific map, but you can choose what you prefer, either small, medium, or large. And that's about it for what you can pick for ranked matches. Then once you do that, it'll drop you right into a room with your selecting selections. And from here, if you hit right bumper for Xbox, you can vote on the settings. So you can play, pick what type of game rules, what map you prefer, and the default weapons on the map and what you start with. And that's about it. So that's ranked matches. Next up are player matches, otherwise known as custom matches. And you can again search, you can just go quick match or you can search for a custom match. But what you want to mess around with is create match. And this is where the custom ability of Lost Planet 2 shines. There are many different settings you can have. First off, of course, the many different types of games. We're going with Team Elimination just for this video. You can pick the settings for that game type, how many players you want how many private slots you want in the room, what map you want, whether it be random or a specific one, the default weapons you start with, and they're in classes, so standard, short range, whatever, the time limit, the layout. There's four different layouts that determine where the weapons are placed, and of course, friendly fire. The next area is custom weapons. This is if you want to have people bring in their class weapons. Abilities on or off, that's pretty self-explanatory. The default grenades, you can pick what kind of grenades are used, set weapons, how many are on the map, few, a lot, or the regular. And that applies for grenades and VSs if you want just a few, a lot, or normal. Uh, viewing mode, you know, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what that is. And then the number of players uh, that you prefer. The respawn on or off, so you could do a single death and you're you're done. Uh, weather variations, team changing, that's important if you want people to be able to change teams and set the teams. Halftime is like a split battle, so you play one half from one spawn and the other half from a different to make it fair. Okay, next up is faction matches. The way these work, it's an online persistent war. What would happen is you enter the faction match and in the bottom you'd see an option to press a button to select your faction. I've already chosen mine, but you would go there and choose one of the five factions. Once you pick a faction, you cannot change factions until this war is over. The wars last seven days. So as you see here, this current war 
is over in four days, so I am stuck as a Snow Pirate Elite until the time is up. And then there are different maps you can battle over with the little pie chart telling you who's won how many matches on each map. And like I said, it's a persistent war, and a uh, faction that has the most wins will win the war. Okay, now back to the main menu. Next up is the training segment. This uh, may be fun for some, but may not for other people like myself. There's basic training, advanced training, and some other mode that has to be unlocked. Here it's basically a time trial type setup. You know, it's only a one player thing, and you can pick, uh, it's a course you have to complete, an obstacle course in a certain amount of time. Uh, different difficulty levels, uh, you know, make it so there's enemies on the map. Advanced training involves putting data posts up. Uh, not my cup of tea, but maybe some people will enjoy it more. Even if you don't like training mode, you definitely want to try to get a bronze medal in every one because that will unlock the AI bot battles, which actually sounds pretty cool. Next up is my page, or your character customization page. From here you can customize all aspects of your characters. Go to your character selection. Once you beat the campaign, you can get a lot more in depth, but I haven't yet, so I can only choose from these preset characters and then change their specific parts. Okay, so the character parts. Here you can access the heads that you've earned. A couple different options. You can zoom in to get a closer look. Also, you can change the torso. And, um, yeah, I'm a guy, so sue me. But um, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool to do that. Um, but anyway, moving on. Different options there. You can also change the legs of the character and you can change their backpack. Right, and here we go into the weapon customization screen. And this is where you change the weapon sets that you prefer to find on the map. This is not what you start with, but this is what weapons you will find on the map. And unfortunately I haven't unlocked too many just yet, but uh, hopefully soon I'll be getting a lot more. Abilities, you can have up to two abilities at one time. Some abilities are more powerful than others, and you can only have one. And they do various things to make you better. Think of them as perks. So just look into there, and uh, you can read about them. Emotes, uh, or little taunts, as I like to call them. You can have up to eight at one time, and you can basically dance on your opponent's dead body after you kill them and do various comical things. So pretty cool. Noms de Guerre, it's like a title that people will see under your name. Really kind of pointless, but whatever, it's not that bad, I guess. So next we have the statistics, and here you can check your, all your stats, your campaign, your rank match stats. If you're into this type of thing, um, I kind of find it kind of cool just to track how well you're doing, but that's where you'd find that. Next up is the options. Here you can change your controller settings as well as the game options. Most importantly though is the VS manuals. All the VS's have many different functions and you should definitely check them out so you know exactly what you're doing and you're not missing a wonderful attack. The last two segments cover downloadable content, where you can find it, and also the credits for the game. So that's it for Volume 1 of Lost Planet for Dummies. Look for Volume 2 coming very soon, detailing game types and many other special things that you can only find here. I am hooked on Atari, a dadgum television game. We play it every morning. We play it every 